Chaos Entertainment presents your Friday 5 o'clock drop. Your weekly right. research, music, news, and reviews from the Mid-South region. As well as interviews, and show clips, and schedules of your favorite local and regional artists. Here is your 5 o'clock drop. Hey there, music fans. Rock the FPM. And welcome to the 83rd week of Doghouse Entertainment's Friday 5 o'clock drop. And of course we always have a great show for you, but this one's a little bit special, uh, a little bit longer than normal. We've got some great interviews with a couple of great bands, Milk Cart Mafia and Low Side. And uh, first up we got Milk Cart Mafia, a great new band coming uh, out of Shreveport. And uh, some veteran players in this band, uh, Brian from Trepid and Melody Small from various brands, uh, Larry Blevins playing drums. He's a, and, and of course a big shout out to Reagan Wall, Reagan MCM. Uh, these guys were just all fantastic, and uh, my first time seeing them, and they just put on a hell of a show. They they love to have fun. Um, you just have to see for yourself. And then of course coming up we'll, we'll have uh, low side. But let's go ahead and like I said, first up let's go to Milk Carton Mafia and the great time we have here. Alright, we're bringing up Melissa from Trepid. Fucks will be giving about that as well. Alright, uh, this is still a new one. It's a little sketchy, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. Bullshit! Absolutely. No fucks are given. Mm, man. <laughs> Hell, we don't even like it. 
shit. That's why you play it. They ain't that the truth, huh? I want to. We do it for the free awesome. milk. Free milk. Yeah. The free milk. Exactly. Yeah. And the curly fries. So the curly fries and our curly fries. <laughs> We have a tab at Arby's. We do for the yeah. calcium. Yeah. <laughs> Are you getting all of us in here? No. Really, I want to know what brought about milk carton. <laughs> wow. How did that start out? What? Wow. I think my monkey made us. <laughs> Come on now, Brian. No, seriously, uh, and this is a serious course. interview. Hey, Billy. What's going on, y'all? Johnny Johnson from Johnsonville, Florida. Johnson, Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> and actually from Michigan. All right. No, from just kidding, just freaking kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and it happens all the time. Fans just want to jump in and look. Very hey, big supporter of local music, Tap Dance Center. Right here, man. Right here. At the warehouse supporting local music. Love it. Gotta it love takes it. Takes the fans, don't it? Okay. Yep, yep. Oh, hey, yeah, get some water. Sugar on there. I know. You like, you <laughs> Can we yeah, just introduce ourselves? We know half of you. Well, yeah, we know half of you, Barry. Right. Hey, Jaden. Hey, How y'all? But really, That's go ahead and introduce yourself in this. I'm Brian. I play guitar. I'm Lawrence, and I play the fiddle. <laughs> I'm Melody. I play bass. Man, is that what that I'm Reagan, and I, I, I just don't play. He don't play. He don't play. <laughs> he don't, play. He don't play. bullshit. Now, really, back to the question, because I, I, I've been thinking about it, and I was thinking about all the questions I was going to ask. <laughs> Brian, really, that's like, what you do every Brian time. Brian get a serious answer as to how this conception of the milk carton came out? Man, it, it's something that we've talked about for a couple of years. Who's uh, we? Brian and myself. Uh, okay. We've uh, shared a stage a time or two, and... Uh, it's something we've been talking about for a while. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, that, that memory gone. Oh, oh, man. He's an asshole. <laughs> Is it you? Oh, I'm tired of shit. I'm tired of shit. I'm sorry, I can't take a call right now. I'm in the middle of a re interview. Fucking okay, horse. I'll let you know. The, 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 the no, moon, but really, yeah. Where the moon lined up, uh, and, uh, you know, the planets aligned, and, uh, you know, and. Sharpened up our Because I, I always know you you like the, the rock or yeah. uh, the uh, punk kind of yeah. rhythms kind of stuff. It's just a little heavier than Trepid, right? Yeah. Well, kind of. Kind of? Maybe, I don't know. No, actually, it kind of. Well, no, it seemed uh, when we come in, it you was. Get, and look, it's a good complimentary thing, and you guys play well off. We play Arby's. Huh? We started at Arby's. Yeah. Yeah. At Arby's? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, Lord, I can't wait to hear this story. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> come on now, fill us in. We that's, only got so much. That was the birth of the mafia, man. It was, yeah. uh, was in Arby's. The roast beef sandwich. Yeah, the roast beef sandwich. <laughs> 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 it's paper bullshit, but no. That's, uh, that's the birth of all... milk carton mafia was at Arby's. And we didn't Is that how the name, some sauce is that how the name came about? <laughs> no, we no, Or was yeah, this something we thought a long time? We were going to run away. Me and Reagan were going to run away to Mexico. Mexico. We had it figured out. All we needed was two motorcycles, a dog, and a jar of peanut butter. Right? <laughs> and the joke was we'd be put on milk cards, but nobody get the fuck who was gone except for bill collectors. So that's he said milk cart mafia would start a Mexican punk band. But none of us are Mexican, so <laughs> holy shit! I, Still there cool. you go. That's what I wanted to that's hear. You know, those are the kind of magic things. <laughs> Sad part. That's the truth. There you go, music <laughs> yeah, Sad part is that's the truth. They You've been wanting to know what milk cart mafia. <laughs> We're, How it got started? We're, what the idea? I mean, what a name, Milk Card Mafia. We were this close to being flesh wedged. Yeah. <laughs> what was it called? Uh, well, ladies wedgie. and gentlemen, we'll have to keep that for another show. Uh, <laughs> I think at the time on Facebook, me and him both did lost. Did they our ask shit. you about that, Melanie Flesh Wedge? Yes. Yeah. It was her idea. Yeah. <laughs> no way. She brought the horn tonight. Uh, yes, she did bring the horn. <laughs> but love. I mean, that was a good skit. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah. Well, hey, you know, we always do the hell yeah and support your local music. So, from Milk Cart Mafia to the music scene out there, can I get a hell yeah support, support your local music. music? Except for Brian, uh, he's a. And there you go, music fans. Milk Cart and Mafia. And first of all, I want to thank Reagan for the shirt, man. I really appreciate it. I told you I'd be wearing it loud and proud on the next drop. And uh, thank you guys so much for an awesome show. Tons of energy. Love that special appearance. Calling Melissa up there on stage. Uh, 
you guys are, are just a lot of fun and I'm sure you're going to be doing a lot of great things in the future and I can't wait to see. Anyways, now it's time to go ahead and get to our next band, Low Side. And let me tell you what, these guys were just so friendly, so down to earth for being an out of town band. Um, they are really the reason these kind of guys and their band are the reason that I do what I do, why I love supporting local music. Sometimes it gets a little frustrating and I, I might get a little, little, little bit down about it. Um, maybe things ain't going as well as I wish they would. But uh, every now and then, a band like these guys comes along and just totally lifts me back up and lets me know that uh, we're doing something special and uh, and they just really, like I said, so friendly, so down to earth and put on an awesome show. So let's go ahead and check out Low Side. Oh, you're on video. <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> Here we are with Derek. What's up? What's the <laughs> From Low Side. God dang it, they're and, 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 the rest of them oh, Hey, this is where it pays to know the people, man. <laughs> Freaking low side here at the Status Club. Who'd have thunk? Huh? Yeah, right. You come We're where it's nice and quiet now, huh? And get your shit, get ready to get it on. And it's a man, Billy, huh? So I, I understand you and Billy are old friends. Oh yeah, me and Billy. I've been knowing Billy for too long. Billy was the bartender. Oh yeah. Billy was he the still, bartender. He still is. Yeah, and you didn't introduce me. You got to introduce me. Ron. Ron. You're the singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Rod West. Rod. That's Dog House Entertainment. Um. Come on. Come on, there you go. And who's this gentleman? This is our promoter, Marlon. Oh, a fellow promoter. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Marlon? Look, you all right, promoter. Two sharks like man, I love it. Hey, I, I'm telling you, you know, it gets not the greatest video in low light, but the audio, the audio will try to get tonight from you guys. Sometimes, and I'll just, I'll take, I'll Yeah, for a quick, for a quick audio, it gives you a true sound. I want you to sit right here. Guitar player, right? Yes, sir. Performer of Lillian Axe, and yep. are, are, are you singing? I was a singer for Lillian Axe. Okay, well, doggone, man. I'm I'm so blessed and privileged. Here we are uh, behind the scenes with Darren <laughs> and Ron, former members of Lillian Axe. What's up, man? Now I got the new band, Low Side, coming to play Shreveport here at the Riverside Warehouse. <laughs> We won't tell nobody that's not where we're at. We won't say where we're at. This is a special place. But no, no, this is at uh, a good friend of theirs. A good friend of theirs and I, I guess a, a long time fan, friend, and everything. What's up, Pete? Man, Billy Hoffman. That's all. And uh, he's taking care of these guys. He needs to take care of his <laughs> He takes care of his kids, huh? Man, so I know Billy's been doing it a long time, like you guys. Please. So, uh, what tell us, please, yeah, man, throw some. Throw it out. Uh, y'all are just getting started with Low Side, right? Yeah. Well, man, look, I'll, I'll give you a little history. So, yeah, give us some a little bit about it. I joined Lily Axe in 1987. And, uh, for the bottle of Crown Royal. For the, for the, I, was, I was on the first two records. And then Darren joined in like 1990, I bet. 1990, yeah. He was on uh, Poetic Justice record. Uh, the uh, Poetic Justice and Cycle of Schizophrenia and Fields of Yesterday. And I don't know what after that. And then uh, in 2004, we, uh, Darren and I, left the band. We were kind of beat up from all the touring and stuff. We just wanted to like, just go home and chill and be with our families. And, uh, Everybody understands that, man. Yeah. yeah. The road's a hard time. Uh, we started writing. They had writing songs together. And, uh, we're doing a lot of acoustic writing on acoustic. 
Yeah, I, I, I was looking up some of your stuff today, and uh, I, I was really impressed by your acoustic sets, man. Oh, thanks. You know, I, I, I kind of thought it had a really a, a stain feel. Oh, awesome. Yeah. You remember that back in... Uh, love Aaron Lewis. Yeah, uh, I really thought that one song, I don't even remember what it was, but I really thought, wow, those guys sound a lot like stain Aaron Lewis, you know, that... that, that no, thank you. Y'all you, you remember that video where all the can or all the lighters are oh, up yeah. in a, I'm on the outside. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while, yeah. It's been, been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, so I'm we started you. writing on acoustic and stuff and uh, playing acoustic shows and doing our own material. And uh, we really weren't sure about putting the band together because, man, it's so hard to find the right kind of people to, to play We were just with, really you know? more into just writing music, basically. That, that was what it was about. And then uh, we came across a drummer and a bass player that, that we liked, and uh, we ended up going out. And this was probably about six years ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. And we were playing around. Six years ago. Playing around Dallas. And then uh, the drummer had to move can, off. Can I ask you, so who were some of the earlier bands that you played with, like, say, six years ago there in Dallas? It was Lowside. Yeah, well, well no, no, I'm saying with, was some of the bands like, like THC, uh, Big Iron. Big Iron. Uh, I heard they were real big. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, HBO, which is the Mongo's band, the Hillbilly Oil. Yeah, so we didn't really open up for anybody like big time or anything like that. We were just playing in Dallas, that's basically it. And that's a great scene there, isn't it? It's alright. <laughs> We're back there. Oh, uh, what? All right. Let me ask you, and I'm gonna ask Darren first. What's your favorite place to play in Dallas? Probably uh, between, let's see, either Trees or the Curtain Club. Man, I love the Curtain Club. Uh, it's on you, Ron. Where, where, where they put your vocals? We play a place called Weekend. And this is the craziest place you've ever been. It's got a rock bar, a country bar, and a, uh, a river boat outside. And a river boat outside, and there's a DJ, there's a country band, and a rock band, all in one place. And it's a cover band that we play in the It's crazy. It's a few people in that place. But, but look, they all came for one thing, to have a good freaking time, didn't they? That's why I love it so much. Next time we go there, we know what it is. <laughs> and you know, there are places like that where it's not really about the, the like, you know, I love trees and, and, and those big, where they make the show really just super special compared to your local bars and that kind of thing. But there's also something to be said for those small venues that just have the people that just get nuts and come out and just throw themselves all over the stage and everything, you know, and stuff. And you're like, oh my God, you know, it, do we need to duck tomatoes or what? <laughs> you guys do. Okay, now, now I'm going to put you on the spot again. Where is the worst place? And, and you don't have to name exact names because I know that would probably get you in trouble. We'll just go kind of like, uh, or, or if you want to, you can name them. The worst place. The worst adventure. The worst adventure. Depends on how you look at it. <laughs> That's a trick question. I don't know, man. We've always, you know, when a place has a bar, I always have to play it. You know, that's exactly what it was. You know, I mean, we we're just all about having a good time, and it doesn't matter where we play or how big of a stage or how many lights or you know whatever. It's you know, just like you said, man. The people there got a good spirit. Yeah, yeah it's, it's all about you know. We we played really small places that you would have thought, oh my god, you know, I'm not even going to the bathroom in this place. But, you know, it was the greatest time ever. You know. So. Wow. You know, I mean, we played in all of them, you know, like at, at the Texas, what is it, the East Texas Chopper. That was hey, crazy. now, that's a freaking cool place. I like, you know, I even know about that. I don't know. You guys like the outside deal, huh? We like anything. That's what I'm saying. It's like we, we, we play small places and bigger places. You know, it doesn't matter.
doesn't matter. You know, we always have a great time. Well, I'm going to ask you guys one more thing. It's a thing that Doghouse does, and I'm sure you guys already uh, do anyways. But we do a big hell yeah and support your local music. Alright. And there you go, music fans. Hell of an interview with Darren and Ron from Low Side behind the scenes. And we got to say, Hell yeah! Support your local music! Come on! We never expected this many people to be here. Thank you very much, man. We appreciate you guys honoring and you trash talking crew. We listen to you guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. So much. That was awesome. No better love you. Good stuff. Good stuff. So does anybody remember us from our old band? Anybody? So, the one thing that kept going through my mind when we did our new CD was that all those years that we played all around the world, we were always looking to this goal to be big rock stars and we were chasing that care of success and we didn't take the time to appreciate the times like tonight. We were always looking something bigger and oh, well, you know, there's, there's a couple hundred people here, but dang, where are there a thousand people here? You know what? We learned in our old age to appreciate the moment that you are living in right now and appreciate the people who are coming to see you who are having a good time, who are not rock and roll. You guys kick your fingers and we appreciate you. This song is called Here and Now.
Dan's low side. And uh, I told you, they're just a great bunch of guys, really down to earth. I can't say that enough. They're so friendly. Um, I just want to thank you all, Ron, Darren, Craig, and Mel. Even though we didn't get a chance to talk too much, I want to thank all of you individually. You guys are just the greatest. Thank you for some awesome show, Ron, Darren, the interview, and not to, not, not to be left out, Big Billy Huffman. That's the man at the Status Club throwing some awesome hip-hop shows. If you all get tired of uh, some rock and roll or after the show, uh, the hip-hop is still bumping down at the Status Club, just a couple doors down from the warehouse. And uh, my good bud Billy Huffman will be guaranteeing to take, you, uh, take care of you and make sure you have a good time. Anyways, once again, that brings us to the Top 5 Bones at 5. And this week, starting it out at number one, and this is a two-day event. We have the Ride for Dime Texas 2013. And uh, starting it out on Friday at the Rail Club in Fort Worth. And these, it, this is just going to be some awesome music. Drowning Pool, Hellbound, Even the Dead Love a Parade, Generator, Bang Lee, and Beyond and then uh, Saturday at Tree, we have Shadows Fall, Texas Hippie Coalition, Thy Will Be Done, Hellbound, and Dixie Bee. And then at number two on Saturday at the BFE Rock Club in Houston, we have, and I'm not sure how to say this, bands that have a logo for your name. It's a real difficult to pronounce, but it's something tribe. Adam and, Adam and Taylor. Adam, Adam and Tim, Adam and Tim, Powderbird, Downfall 2012, Epic, Funeral Horse, and then they have an outside stage with Mind, Body, and Soul, and Adventures of Rem. And then at number three on Saturday at the Riverside Warehouse here in Shreveport, they have Jimmy Don and Double Eleven, and another beautiful letdown. And I guarantee you that is just going to be an awesome show. Uh, really, really great music. And then at number four on Saturday, through the heavier music, we have Machete Eddie's Birthday Bash. With Fist Meets Face, Something Sick, Intermint, and Cancer Boy. And then at number five on Saturday at Beano's in Little Rock, we have Third Coast Booking and Promotions Presents. Switchback, Trepid, and Saints Marauder. That's going to be another great show there at the end. Anyways, that's our top five bones this week. And as always, I'm Rock the FPM saying hang loose, horns high, and peace out. And until next week, y'all have a safe and happy week. That's awesome, Mr. Crawley. Daring. Come on. Oh, man, don't make me. Are you really serious? What? Because my wife don't want to leave downtown, and we just left from the hip-hop club. Oh, yeah, with Billy? Yeah. And if you tempt me, I might come and hang out with you guys. <laughs> we're not leaving. We're just getting up. Hanging out, man. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to make a mistake. <laughs> Dan, it was so awesome to meet it you guys. It was good meeting you, too, brother. Thank you for the interview. No problem, man. You take care, brother. All right. You do the I'll same. I'll see you soon. Huh? I'll see you soon. Hell yeah, man. Hell Dallas. Yeah. Come on. Tell Warren we're going to see you there. Yeah. All right, Dan. Lonely night when nothing went right Until I met you you brought life into a shine of the life Made my life seem new Now I can't imagine it'd be so tragic Being here without you But I have no fears now that you are here and Nightmares are all through They are all through They are all through 